So we're going to be doing the suspension in this video. A um, little bit different. I've been talking about why, um, and I haven't really shown much DIY stuff. Um, so bear with it. I hope you find some of it useful. Let's crack on. So you'll see. Um, I've kind of drawn, drawn the. <laughs> The last straw on times when I'm able to do this, um, and it's dark. Uh, it's about eight o'clock at night. I'm uh, sat on the drive, and I'm just tinkering. Um, you see, I've got no suspension strap. And what I'm going to do is just tell you about the suspension I'm putting in and why I've chosen to do it. Now, I get some of you out there will be wondering why I've gone for the Stance Plus Street Kit again, and why not? Haven't you gone for the Pro Line or Solos or the Van Slams or something? Um, it's entirely about budget at the end of the day for me. Um, I'm building what I would see and what I envisage, as it were, as a as a nice van. Um, and I know that upgrading the rear shocks. On the Stance Plus Street Kit to the Gaz Short Shocks um, is going to improve the rear suspension, and then doing a hub mod at the front will improve the front suspension. I don't see, um, I don't see the warrant, or yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see why I'd need to spend out seven hundred and something. For the Pro Line kit, when the Stance Street kit is two nine nine, and the Gaz Short Shocks are around one fifty, I guess, depending on where you get them from. Um, and I've got a kit that's as good, in my view. Um, so that's that's what I'm going for, and that's what I'm doing. All right, just while I'm in it. Um, I want to try and explain to you what the hub mod is in a little bit more detail, show you the little piece you've got to remove. I'm not going to do it yet, because I want to just see how the ride is and stuff like that. And then when it's a full camper, if I need to go a bit lower or I want to stiffen up the suspension, I can by doing the hub mod at the front and I can compress the spring a little bit more. This is the bottom of the hub. Now I can't spin it around because I've got a brake hose connected and stuff and I don't want to damage anything but if I put my finger here so this side here is nice and smooth and then this side here there's a lip now that's the lip you've got to remove so that the suspension strut itself will come through here hence why they call it the hub mod because the hub is here let's talk about the rears quickly um, I get uh, a message a day asking me about um, do you get knocks and bangs uh, I'm getting knocks and bangs from the rears I'm also getting knocks and bangs from the fronts um, can you can you help me out um, yeah so this is my help to you if you've asked me this question and to others that are about to fit a coilover kit the rears the spring goes on the bottom and the adjusters go on top simple shouldn't get any knocks and bangs if you're going stupid low and you've taken all the adjusters out all the spring rubbers and etc like that out then you may get a knock but you're choosing to remove everything that's going to stop it from knocking so it would be at the end of the day uh, your own fault. Um, yes, you can buy um, the little plastic like cups or the rubber cups, should I say, from um, that THQ place or whatever. But for 50 quid, I think they are, you're better off just cutting up a bit of rubber uh, and using that. Um, in fact, the kit itself the stance kit comes with a small rubber piece so it's really thin just use that if you want um, the fronts on the other hand you 
you may be getting knocking because either you've fitted your old top mounts and they are a bit shot should I say or you haven't fitted the nut off your old suspension um, I call it the top mount locking nut which I guess it is but you haven't fitted that so you need to remove it now I've done it here that's one of the things people forget about when they change their suspension is they actually need to take off the old uh, top mount secure nut as it were um, from the old suspension so you've just seen how I've done that which I have to say is a little risky um, please don't copy me or if you do copy me and something goes wrong don't blame me um, you've copied me um, sorry about that but if you use a windy gun as it were or a impact driver for the last sort of centimeter and just whiz it straight off you'll find that they don't explode and fire all over the place but that nut itself needs to go on top of your spring whilst you're building it so you put your top mount on and etc that nut has to go on the top and it has to be done up as tight as you can get it um, and then obviously the spring shaft thing will start spinning round and that's as tight as you can go you can't get it any tighter now, I appreciate I'm working in the dark and some of you might find it a little bit difficult to see but it's the only time I can do it so we're going to rebuild the suspension before we put it in place now going back to what I was talking about earlier on you just can't beat the value of these Stance Plus kits I contemplated putting the Stance Plus Pro lines on I just didn't want to spend that sort of money when I can get similar performance by using this kit and if I want to go silly low adding the guzz, guzz, gaz short shocks on the rear like I did in well, the first series of videos on the white T5 that I had it, you know and, and, and then I got adjustability if I want to go silly low at the front I can do the hub mod the hub's off it's pretty straightforward to do uh, it's not rocket science alright so you want to make sure I don't think this is going to fit on nope you want to make sure that this is nice and tight it will go to only one point and then it will stop and you won't be able to get it any tighter and I'm just spinning it round and round and I'm still spinning it round and round I'm going to adjust them up to match the other side oh. <laughs> I get all excited they've done something else stance I feel like they must have listened to me. Right there. They're finally supplying you with a proper tool. Look at that. It's amazing. So if that's not in place, then perhaps maybe you're getting some knocking from there. But as far as the stance kit you know I can't I literally cannot think of anything wrong with it um, out of the box uh, for a decent low um, and, and on a decent budget as well uh, so big shout out to you guys and I think uh, thanks for listening people at stance maybe um, they supplied us with that wicked new locking thingy with their name on it <whistles> rather than that cheap flappy thing that you have to for them try and find an allen key and a eight mil socket or whatever to do it up and then it still doesn't work properly because it flaps around and you can't you know this new bit of kit <laughs> um i guess all the times that they've been sold out they've been able to like adapt it and make it a little bit better and they started with the actual coil adjuster instead of maybe adding some adjustable rears 
maybe I don't know we'll see so if stance actually bring out a new kit um, you know where it's come from it's come from me they should bring out a stance plus street plus kit I think I've said it before in a previous video that it's got adjustable rears leave the fronts alone just adjustable rears and then market it perhaps maybe in the middle of the two at like 450 and not 750 yeah anyway all right I'm just tightening this lock nut up and we're going to put it back together Okay, so I'm literally going to do it finger tight because there's no chance of you being able to tighten that up completely but it means now I don't have to support that in any way and if I come this side you can see it a bit better working in the dark working nine to five I love working on vans Especially in the dark. You'll notice so far that some of these videos aren't really tutorial wise. Um, it's kind of just showing you what I've been up to and what I'm getting on with. Um, I've got windows to fit, which I'll be doing a kind of a, um, a video on how to do that. Because um, I want to do, um, I want to cut the window out, and then I want a carpet line, and then I want to put the windows in. Um, I'm going to put two sliders one on the sliding door and one on the other side and then I've got two solid windows to go in the back although one's going to be fake but I'll talk about that at the time um, so yeah thanks for watching guys I hope you find some of this information useful and I hope some of the videos you watch you find them useful too that's it for the suspension video guys um, again I've gone for the Stance Plus can't fault it value for money absolutely epic well I've still got a few little tweaks to do to the suspension the ride height itself isn't as level as I'd like it to be uh, I think the front needs to come down a little bit I think I'm gonna have to do the hub mod see you in the next video guys thanks for watching this is Tom this is T-Dubs stay safe